During the late during the late 90s, Mega Man has managed to managed to rise as one of the gaming's pinnacle franchises. Ever since the early late 80s to early 90s, they released banger after banger after banger, and basically just just submitting itself as one of the greatest gaming franchises of, franchises of all time. Unfortunately, when you have a really popular franchise, you tend to milk it. After all, um, look at you know Mega Man uh, <coughs> X4 to X8 and the thing is, because of that, we experienced a little something in gaming called burnout. So what ended up happening is that once Mega Man entered the early 2000s, Capcom needed to try to figure out how to keep the series alive. And at this time, X5 and X6 didn't exactly resonate well with gamers. So what they needed to do is they needed to make a spin-off, something new, something to help you know redo, live, reignite the spark of Mega Man into the into the world into the world. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, and essentially, they decided to make a new sub-series. This is one of my personal favorite as well, Mega Man Zero. Mega Man Zero was developed in 2002 and released for the Game Boy Advance only. And this was, and the thing is, after X6, Mega Man didn't exactly live a good taste in people's mouths. Luckily, for everyone else that was a big Mega Man fan, Zero was good! And essentially, it helped reignite the series, for at least for a little bit, before, you know, unfortunately ending after its end 2009-2010 with Mega Man X or the Mega Man 10. Until being revived until Mega Man 11, 2017-2018. And, but the thing is, though, this isn't about that, this is about Zero. Essentially, Zero is about, you know, Zero, and his adventures to this new apocalyptic wasteland that, yeah, that is being ran by, I forgot, I need to go through this game, but that's what we're here for. So anyways, um, if y'all want, in some ways, to figure out the plot, I'm gonna be able to play through the entire series of games, all the way to X04. So I hope you liked the video. Like, sub, and subscribe. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you think I'm worthy enough. And well, let's get on with it. Damn. Capcom really be slipping with these intros. Oh wait, oh god almighty, what is this? Wait a minute, oh, thank god, I thought the sprites were messed up because it was like texture smoothing. Now this is the art. Oh, 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 that's, that's straight up murder. Oh, wait, wait, that's just straight up murder. Oh my god. What, what kind of monsters are these? Oh, well, obviously, um... Oh, there's... Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, that's murder. What is that? That is murder. What is going... <laughs> Dude, this intro's insane, man. Uh, uh, a dead end? No? I feel the strong energy inside. This must be the place. Oh, God. Oh, God, that voice... Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay, leave us to me. Stay back, CL. I'm gonna just put a block of C4 and it'll be good. Here she go. I'll take care of him. Oh. This must be... This must be zero. We found him at last. Oh boy. Oh. It's protected. What should I do? Oh. Watch out. Oh boy. We're cornered. We have to evacuate now. But. We have no time to argue. And he's dead. Oh um, my bro, there's actually blood effects, bro. Like this this was for kids. This is for kids, dude. There's actually 
<laughs> Bangun. Sial. Sial? Huh? Oh no, don't tell me she's going through her. I've never seen a dead body before, so I need to justify why I'm depressed now. Huh? You should use my power. You have no choice. <laughs> well, Passy, if I do, you'll be... Don't worry about me. Remember, everyone is waiting for you, for your safe return. God, that is a menacing picture. We can clearly tell they didn't. They have to cut out some parts of it. Huh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Thank you. It would have been cool if they could replace the fonts, cause yeah, this font does not look good at all. <laughs> no. I should thank you, CL. Goodbye. Passy. Oh boy. What happened? And the seal has been broken. Oh. Hello, it's my boy. <laughs> he do be looking skinnier though. You lose some weight, Zero. Zero has been resurrected. Zero? Help me. Please. Um, say no more. Oh. Oh god, the controls. Also, I have save assist on because of the fact I don't feel like dying every often, so... In order to save time on these videos, I don't want to end up dying and restarting every single stage. Because unlike for traditional Mega Man, I don't think this game has proper Mega Man stages like 8 bosses, that's it. Like, it has, like, actual... Because here's the thing, this is the Mega Man X Z Mega Man game that actually has a decent plot going on. So the story is going to take a bit of a forefront. So in that case, I'm going to take my time with this game because usually when I played a Mega Man game, I would try to like to could, could make one video going halfway through it and then make another video going down halfway and then a final part getting like the rest of the gear and all that junk. Thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that with Zero. So this one might be a bit more straightforward instead of just me, you know constantly, you know, having to do a really long part and basically try to finish it down. Oh, jeez. You got a Cyber Elf. Also, I have played this a bit on my off time, so if I know what I'm doing, that's because I kind of do, except I really don't, so... What? It's a dead end. What should we do? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I gotcha. And now we're in doo-doo water. Great. You. Thank you. This place seems to be a prehistoric lab laboratory. We may be able to find a trans server, which we can use to get back to the resistance base. Um, sure. How nice. This passageway has collapsed in. Shall we go back? Stay back. Stay back. Zero, no run! You can't damage this thing with a buster! Oh, yes I can. Never tell a Mega Man fan they can't say no. Never tell a Mega Man fan they can't do anything. Oh god, these... <sighs> rats! I dig the music, though. What the? Ooh, sword. Use this, Zero. Who are you? Hurry. You have to save her. Don't waste time. All right, bet. Okay. How do I use the damn thing? Hold on. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on.
Okay, so... Okay, am I just stuck with the buster? Because it's not letting me use it. Gotcha! Whew, that was close. It didn't want to let me use the sword. I don't know why. Can't believe you were able to destroy a golem. Yeah, yeah, um, I guess you can see I did it by the skin of my teeth. We were right. You are Zero, the legendary Raploid. Zero. Is that my name? Mm. <sighs> Can't remember. Just relax for a moment. You have hibernation sickness. I'm sorry for your forcing you to wake up. And thank you for saving me. My name is Ciel. I'm a scientist. Let's go to our base before more enemies arrive. What if I'm not the Zero you were talking about? You proved to me that you are a Zero by saving me from that golem! Um... Okay... That doesn't really prove much, but I'll go with it. Return to base. Code name Sniper. Of course. Well, I could have done better if I had the Z sword. Welcome to our resistance base, Zero. This is a shelter for injured Reploids who are suspected of being Mavericks. We have fought so hard to survive. However, we know that the end is coming. But that's why we have been looking for you. You are only last hope. Most of us think that Zero is nothing but a fantasy. However, a few still believed in your existence and have looked for you. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid who fought with X to save the world 100 years ago. X? That name sounds familiar. X, that legendary Reploid is still alive and he's trying to retire all of us. X is trying to retire you? His, his plans have already begun. Many innocent Reploids are being retired as we speak. We need your help. Our future depends on you. Please help us. Okay, I guess. Thank you. It's like a dream come true. Now, with your help, I think I can save everyone. I have something I need to ask you. Please, talk to me when you're ready. <sighs> I need to figure out something. Because it is not letting me use my Z-Saber. What the? Hold on a second. Oh, okay then. Oh no, okay, okay, yeah, the controls were just off, okay. The disposal center is up ahead of you. Please, rescue our comrade. Okay. Um, you're not tell me twice. Old school Mega Man, like SNES Mega Man. Ooh, that feels good. Ooh, ooh, that is. That is responsive. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, this is so much better. Oh, my God, I love this already. Also... Apparently this game also has a bit of light RPG mechanics in there where um the game also has like oh use this Oh I think I need something for that. Hold on. Okay, at least I got some healing. God, I remember, I don't know, I don't know who it is, but I remember look, finding a video and apparently someone was making a fan-made um, Mega Man Zero remake and not gonna lie. Oh, what? Yep, I was right, leveling up. You can have a form a second slash. From what I can know, it's very easy to level up the Z-Saber because of the fact you just gotta sort of mash with it and just 
can't be lucky with it. Which, from what I can tell, this game is very popular with speedrunners. Every time I see like a Mega Man Zero game that's like talked about, it's like, um, on my end, I keep finding like speedruns of the game. So it's like, yeah, I'm guessing the game is really popular with speedrunners or something. Because I always find people speedrunning this game somehow, which, y'all crackheads, that's all I'll say. Through the shutter, you have reached the disposal center. Also, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna have save assist on because the sole fact that, well, Zero feels like it's longer than the OG games, where it's like, like I said, every video that I made for Mega Man, it took me like, realistically, it only took me like a couple few hours to beat. And thing is, Zero sort of has a, like I said, a story and proper plot. So it's like, I'm actually gonna have to keep an eye on stuff. Not only that, it's not like with regular Mega Man where I need to worry about getting armors, so just getting through the plot alone is going to be enough of like three videos of an old Mega Man X vid. I'm Aztec Falcon, Harpuya. The Guardians sent me to clean up. The Guardians sent me to clean up. Hey, 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 help, help me! It must be some of the garbage. <laughs> Just in time, I'll dispose of the both of you together. Oh boy. Ow. Oh. Well, I know I could beat the guy. I just suck. Wow. Gotcha. There we go. That was close. Who? Uh, um, <clears throat> thank you. I never expected someone would come to rescue me. Thank you so much. I'm still in shock. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll return our base. When I'm able to walk again, you can go back now. I'll be fine. Cool. Thank you for your cooperation, Zero. That is the Thunder Elk chip, I presume. You must get it before you return to the base. You got the Thunder chip. Okay, I... Here's the thing, I have no idea what elements do, so... If y'all in the comments would like to tell me what elements do, please tell me. <laughs> oh. Return to base. <whistles> Zero, thank you. I never thought I'd see the day when the Reploid Disposal Center was destroyed. Innocent Reploids will be safe for a while. Thank you so much, Zero. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid. I'd like to ask your help again when you have time. That is, if you don't mind doing us favors. Please, come and talk to me. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, if you go to the engine room downstairs, you'll find an engineer named Ker uh, Ker Servo. He asked me to give this to you. It's called the Escape Unit. If you use it during a mission, you'll be able to abort that mission and evacuate. But remember, the mission will be considered to be a failure if you evacuate it. Nice. Oh yeah. You can see why I wanted to put the X series on break, because it's like... Yeah, X is fun, but, like, but the thing is, um... I'm not dumb. I know that the second half of the X collection is composed of the Mega Man games that aren't too fondly remembered. <coughs> X7. <clears throat> so something was stuck in my throat. And yeah, I'm I'm trying to prepare myself for the shitstorm that's gonna be there. So um, if you really want to see this, see that video or that series of time to come back, you know, give up. You do the usual. Give it a give a subscribe like it and you know do what you gotta do to get it like I'll maybe if I like after like 
if you if y'all want another X want me to do X5, I will do it. You just guys gotta tell me if you want it. But for now, we're gonna do zero because I wanna. Oh, I do not. I am scared of X5. They're kicking butt as they become like the other Reploids. Listen, son. Are you interested in what I have to say? Yes, I am. Interested in my story. Thanks for saying that. May I not look it, but I used to be a handsome Reploid. It was very popular with the ladies. It was the night of the full moon when it happened. I was kind of content. I was in a warehouse at the harbor. And I heard a song drifting over the night air. I was able to find a beautiful lady with long hair singing in front of the crowd that had gathered at the harbor. I was amazed to find that I was deeply moved by her song though. My body and mind are made with machines. After spending time together and talking, we fell in love and eventually started living together. Um, you are tired of listening to my story yet? No, not at all. Keep going, man. Oh, you want to listen? I told you up to the time we began to live together, didn't I? I'll continue. As time went by, she grew older and older. Well, I remain the same. She came to present how she looked. And began avoiding me. So I asked Ciel to modify me to be what I am now. Now. So that we could be together. She has long since passed away. But the memory of her would never be erased from my memory chip. Thanking you for indulging me with your company and listening to my story. Here's a token of my gratitude. Vision is a virtue. Listen to all of Andrew's monologues in the end of Mega Man Zero. Alright, you're welcome, man. We want to destroy the enemy transport train in order to disrupt their supply. Based on the report from our scout unit, the enemy train is at the old platform loading cargo. The time to attack is now. Please, help us destroy that train. Will you accept? Yes. The transport train is lying deep within and on the ground. Passage. Keep your guard up. On the ground, huh? Alright, so down here, I'm guessing. The platform is in the opposite direction. I need to level this thing up, because I know this thing can get obscenely broken. Like, if you max it out. And if I do, I'm like, yeah, I want it. Give, let me max it. Ow! Oh. oh man, I'm not gonna lie, I wish they would continue the Mega Man Zero games, cause um, I'm pretty sure the DS game's up in a cliffhanger, which is a bit of a bummer, cause I know like, uh, considering Mega Man 11 sold decently well, they can make another Mega Man Zero game, they just gotta get back into creates, which... I wonder if they're going to be down for doing Mega Man Zero again, because I know, um, since they were focused on Gunvolt, and that game's convoluted plot, um, uh, they would definitely, it would be a cool idea to actually bring them back for another Mega Man Zero game, or more likely a Mega Man Zero remake, which would be sick. God, this game is so fun. Uh, I remember when I was, like, younger, I was with my cousin, he had, a he saw the 3DS at the time, and before... A little fun fact, before this game was made, there was already a collection, but for the DS, which is, like, shocking to me, because it's like, um, pretty sure Zero Four was for the DS, right? So, I wonder how they got it to fit all in there, in that little cartridge in there for all four games. Being held within the transport train, the cyber elf that was stolen from our base. If it is taken to, take it to their base, they will be, abuse its power. Rescue it, please. Got it. What the? The train seems to have left. Please, rescue the duct center up. I'm counting on you, Zero. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, boy. Ow. Ow. Please escape. Oh. Oh, it's a triple attack. Okay, cool. Did I save it? Hopefully it saved it. 
What the? You've reached the the engine room chamber. What is that? Careful, Zero. What am I looking at? Whoa! Oh, this looks like it sucks. This looks like AIDS. This looks like AIDS. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I got this. This is this this is a jump change. Jump change. Come on. Yes, let's go! First try. Let's go. Whew. That was close. Mission accomplished. Let's go. Yeah, I think I prefer the mission-based structure compared to the old Mega Man's. Don't get me wrong, old Mega Man game structure, very iconic, because, you know, it's like a lot of player freedom for the bosses. But, I don't know, it's just like something about a just a good old-fashioned linear run-and-gun just, it just seems nice, you know? Like a good old fashioned linear run and gun that just like, you know, takes mission to mission. It's fine. I like it. Cybero. Oh, Beast Slayer. I know if I get an S rank, what ends up happening is that I'm going to go through a bunch of pain. So hopefully I don't pass with S ranks because I know I'm ready. I'm going to have to be in for a bunch of pain. Because um, from what I can tell, this game uses like dynamic difficulty. Or at least has its own form of it. So I'm hoping I don't get any S ranks for now. So I'm going to start questioning if I'm going to be playing too good. Because <laughs> if I play too good, I'm like, am I getting an S rank? And then like, next question, all of a, next mission, all of a sudden it's just like, damn it, I have to play like that now. I'll retrieve, I'll find the shuttle. Some of the abducted reploids seem to have hijacked an enemy transfer plane and have now escaped. But the plane disappeared over the desert. I might have crashed into the desert and so we sent our scouts to look for them. However, our scouts are having difficulties due to the hordes of hostile enemies in the area. I'm sorry, but will you go and help their rescue? We accept? Yes. Yeah, they definitely need a- I wish they would have gotten the original game spawn and then used that for the text. It would have been cool. Because, uh, it's very clear these fonts don't exactly fit. It would have been cool they could also zoom out the thing, but I'm guessing that would have required a whole remake. Which... I don't think they have the budget to do. What the? <sighs> Great, bear traps. Fun game. You got a cyber elf. No, what did I get? I'll be a sub tank if needed. Nice. Get rid of the bear trap. Oh, another one. Bro, I need health. Give me health. Another one. Are you kidding me? They respawn? Hold on. Oh, the bear traps respawn. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is gonna suck. They could definitely do like a a sequel to this, but like improve the combat in a way. Not make it like DMC, but it's more like add more. What is that? I 
There we go. Ah! Oh, <laughs> the bear trap. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, boy. Go to the bear trap first. So I need to start killing some enemies with the buster because um, I'm probably going to need that charge shot at some point. Oh, it does have a charge shot. I'm just bad. Okay. Okay. My name is Anubis. The Gromances of the Third. I work for Fefnir. One of the four guardians. I'm the king of destruction and the ruler of the desert. The reptiles you are looking for are deep in the desert. If you wish to rescue them, you need to defeat me first. Ungaz, old timer. Oh, sure. Sure, call me an old timer, you jerk. Funny! Very. Oh, God. He's gonna be one of those, is he? This is gonna suck. Ow. Oh my god, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I saw that, why didn't I react? I saw that. You know what I find kind of funny is that, how is it that this game is more fair? Like, like, how do I say it? It doesn't have that weird Mega Man difficulty philosophy where it's like, it gives you a lot of attacks and you gotta deal with it. But here it's like, oh, these attacks are predictable. It's your fault. Like they don't give them a lot of moves, but considering the fact that this, games are, this game is mission based rather than boss based, my guess is the fact is they couldn't really have enough of a budget for the bosses that to sort of rely on giving these bosses like only a few move sets, which is understandable and yeah, if you want to get into Mega Man, I think this is the way to go. Because it's like, the attacks are fair. There's not a lot of move sets to deal with. And it'll, like, easy you into the gameplay for, like, Mega Man in general. So it's like, yeah, it's a good idea if you want to go for Mega Man. And only that, Scheme Scare is a very similar control scheme to X. So... Oh, I was doing so well that time. <laughs> uh... I was doing so well that time. God damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is giving me bad Sigma, 4, Sigma X4 flashbacks. Oh. <laughs> don't care, don't care, don't care. This is giving me really bad Sigma X, X, X4 Sigma flashbacks. Ow. Now I can beat this guy. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's one phase down. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I leveled up the Z Saber. Ooh. So close! <laughs> I was right there! <laughs> no, I still have the skill. No! <laughs> I was so close! I was doing so good! <laughs> oh no, I was doing so good! <laughs> oh god, this boss is messes with me, man. Like, I'm not used to bosses with retractable weapons that can fill the whole screen, so it messes with me. No. What the? Oh, the hitbox got me. Uh, I hate this boss. Not only that, I don't even know where to get the health upgrades. Cause unlike Mega Man, I can't. Ex unlike um, Mega Man, um, the Mega Man X games, I can't exactly look up a guide to find them, because I can only really do it once per mission. 
so I can't really explore unless I go to like the um, like the mission mode thing. Let go of me! Oh man, these zombies! You see what I mean? The <laughs> zombies screw you. Oh, I thought it was good. Nope, I was wrong. I was horribly wrong. But hey, what can you do? There we go. And he's spawning the dudes right there. We spawn him right there. There we go. Whoa! Okay, I know I got it this time. I'm just being impatient. Whoa! That's his leveled up Z Saber. There we go. There we go. I was just being suck. I was just sucking. That's pretty much all that was happening. I just sucked at this. Alright, give me that. You got a Cyber Elf. Let's go. Whew! That was a close one. Hey, you alright? Uh, I'm... I'm alright. Can you rescue me? Thank you very much. Can you walk? Yeah. I'll let me get back to the base. Follow me. Thank goodness. There's a survivor. Thank you, Zero. I'll have a medic standing by. Will you take him to the entry point? Yeah, sure. Alright. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Oh, don't tell me I gotta, like, slowly inch back over. Oh, that sucks. Help me! Yeah, I know. There we go. Come on, buddy. You can make it. Come on. Come on. Come on, bud. Let's go. Like how they actually have level gimmicks to this thing. Usually with Mega Man, it's just sort of get to the end. But here it's like, oh, you gotta stop the train. Oh, you gotta give me your own a timer. Oh, you gotta bring back this guy. That's actually the pacing compared to other Mega Man's. Like, you have actual objectives, which... Yeah, like, uh, like yes, I get it. Don't fit with Mega Man in terms of, like, gameplay, but... It's still a fun... It's still a fun idea. I mean, Mega Man with missions already sounds like a good idea. Because it'll basically encourage... Like, um... Like, more creative ideas for, like, for, like gimmicks, which... Yeah, I may sound a bit generic, but... Hey, helps to spice things up. After all, Mega Man at this point wasn't exactly doing so hot. I mean, for fuck's sake, they had to rely on the X Zero series after X, because X Eight didn't sell quite well. So, yeah, let's hope. Uh, let's hope we get a, a sequel to the Zero games instead of the X games. Which, yeah, I get it. X Nine people want X Nine, but come on, man, that story is done. Let it end. Whew. I'm glad we could glad we could save him. Thank you, Zero. Alright. Yep. Another comrade has been saved thanks to you. Coroner's report, enemies are planning to conduct a large scale attack on the resistance base. If that happens, we'll need your help again. We appreciate your continued support, Zero. Yeah, I appreciate my support too. Anyways, uh I'm about to get to the close of my recording time, so um I'm gonna end the video off here. If you guys like the video, like the video if it gets worthy enough, subscribe if you think I'm worth your time, and leave a comment if you wanna leave any criticisms or any nice things you wanna say about me. And well, um, see y'all later.